be working. How's everything on your end? Sector 2's construction is going pretty smoothly so far. We should be able to sustain a second colony soon. All it'll take is four more orbit stops. You doing okay? Still getting used to ZRG and trying not to puke. As for the project, we've got a few complications. Got the ethics committee breathing down our necks. Didn't know space exploration was a matter of ethics. No, they're all worked up about our machines. Their self-replication is what's making the board nervous. May lead to the invasion of intelligent life or something. They're worried about a war with aliens that might not even exist? Shouldn't our ethics team be more grounded in reality? You're one to talk. Still reading about history 24-7? Yeah, it's fascinating stuff. I'm reading about the Pacific War right now. 200 years ago, right? When this all started? Part of a world war involving countless powerful nations. It reshaped the way we approach technology and ideology. Like I said, fascinating stuff. If I could pick an era to be born in, I'd live around then. Sounds like a big mess to me. Oh, well. If you'd like, I could send over some light reading on it. I think I'll pass. So, any idea when we can meet up again? It'll be about 420 hours till the next time I'm off. I'll keep in touch, Natsuno. Good. I'll be looking forward to it. Bye. Takatoshi-san. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries. And not a single student attending. They need every able-bodied student at the factories. I know, we're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. That it's a hopeless war. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. What's wrong, Keitaro? You resent being drafted? No. Just... Of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You don't have to worry anyway. One look at it, and you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but... We have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but we're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because we've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. Understood. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan, they chose me. What can I do? Will I be any help at all? So what is this new weapon? We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. So the Americans really are coming for us. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, we'll have to end this on the mainland. 
Our homeland's future is in the hands of this Sentinel. But they're good hands. A single Sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. No, it could outmatch an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day, we'll take the fight to American soil. <clears throat> huh? I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Tamao-san. So this is where you've been hiding. Takatoshi-san. Goodness, look at you. Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamao-san. What brings you here? I had to see Keitaro-san off. And when I heard you were back too, I had to come. I wanted to give you this. I made some ohagi for you. Maybe you and Takatoshi-san can share them. Well, I am partial to ohagi. The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Yes. I invited her along. Pardon me, but... Have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. It's fine. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. <sighs> I'm... Kiriko-doji, sirs. Uh, I'm... Uh... I I'm, uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Pleased to meet you. Wait, Doji? Any relation to Professor Hazo Doji? I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. I just never imagined his daughter would be so... Uh... I've heard about Kiriko-san's father. They say he's a remarkable teacher. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here? If he's at the armory, that can only mean... That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. <sighs> I mean... Damn it. <laughs> well, don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory's not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. I'll have to leave my little sister with you, so please take care of her for me. Don't you worry about a thing, Keitaro-san. I'll take good care of Chihiro-chan. And tell her I won't be gone for long. The second I get time off, I'll come visit. Keitaro, it's almost time. They're expecting us. We'd better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. I promise. I'll be back. What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Lightning, maybe. It came from around here, I think. Of 
Kiriko-san disappeared after that incident. And Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. At this rate, the Americans will completely destroy Japan. We have to do something. Our new top-secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Uh, shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but it's dangerous to be out this late on your own. Allow me to escort you home. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. I'm stationed at the armory nearby. But I'm off duty now, so I was on my way home. So, uh, what's your name? Natsuno. Um, Natsuno Minami. Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Good question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. Wait. What's that sound? <laughs> trying to bomb the factory. But that's near where the Karabes live. Stay here. It should be safe at this distance. But what about you? I have to go help. Just stay there. It's clear here, but the flames are stronger up ahead. You're not going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister's staying. <coughs> this can't be happening. It's completely gone. It must have been a direct hit. Shihiro! Tamao-san! Belongs to Chihiro. Chihiro! Tamao san! Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. You're safe. Wear 
There's the mouse on. Right here. <sighs> Kitaro san. The mouse on. It's all gone. I know. But you're alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens. But Chihiro chan ran off alone. She said she was going back to the house. Because you were coming home. And if nobody was there to see you, you'd be really sad. Chihiro. <gasps> so they're all safe and sound, huh? Uh, Natsuna-san. <laughs> Everything on that side of the Kaede River is on fire. Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi next. Big Brother! Why are they showing up in this era? I've always heard the U.S. had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They've finally come for our homeland. And if we don't stop them... Tamao-san, please take care of Chihiro. Big brother! Stay with her and do as you're told, understand? Tamao-san, can I ask you to look after Natsuno-san too? Huh? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. You stay with Tamao-san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel, they don't stand a chance. You hear all that? Yeah, you know. I know. I'm on it. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. Gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made the... I'd never seen its piece together with scraps of cloth. Even still, Chihiro took it with her work. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over 30 meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg-like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. You can hardly see any stars in this era. Though I have to say, the city lights are a sight to behold. Hmm. 
Nothing's changed today either. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. You can hardly see any, though I have to say. just the sentinel and I brought here. That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert, but I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. reached its operating limit. Where am I? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? <sighs> the last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons, and... No. It can't be! I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel, too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the Sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel. This is bad. The Sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. Sentinel. The enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. 
I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. Now that I have a plan, I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about. But their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It almost seems like a different dialect. But it's definitely Japanese. in America. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. Right? Right. It's nothing to worry about, just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel Sync test. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. <sighs> huh? The hell you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like I've finally gone crazy. You want to see crazy? Hey, stop! Where am I? What is this room? Oh, hold on. I think I remember. Some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag. This doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things, or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab. Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. It's a calendar. 1985? It's all in my head. It's just an illusion. A box-shaped Technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly confidential military technology. Uh, it's about... Baseball? I'm not in a military base, am I? Math. Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. 
Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. This can't be right. 1945, the year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945, that's this year. August 6th, atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs. What is this book? 1951, U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait. What did that calendar say? Nineteen eighty-five. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. Could it really be? You okay? Here. <laughs> it's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <sighs> <coughs> Wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi, and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. 1985. Am I still in Japan? But in the future? So you helped me. Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you got knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, all right? You haven't missed a day. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. <sighs> Nothing's... It hasn't... It's still there. That sent... I wonder if it must be out of there. Gives me the... Ch we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. 
But what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. No matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder. What if I never actually traveled through time? It's possible that space-time here is warped somehow. But it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. like the school's still here. <laughs> Isn't that... Hey, hold on! Uh, Mirakun? Thank goodness! You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here, too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again... Hmm... I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh, yeah! Granny Tamao went on a trip. So Juro-kun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamao? Sorry, let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Karabe? to leave quite the dent. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was biting. And it beat up giant ghosts. As the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san? It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. It's just that... Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. 
but they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. <laughs> the sirens. This is bad. Turn on the radio. This military broadcast. Air raid alarms have been sounded. Enemy is flying at low altitude. More air units to be expected to prepare against the coming invasion. We ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san... Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, alright? Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. No, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane? She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you... know my grandma? Yes. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, all right. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you.
there's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. Natsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert. But I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made... I'd never seen its piece together, even step Chihiro took it with her. I checked the library for any records of such a weapon. But in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the U.S., not anywhere. What was that thing? <sighs> the damage on this pillar is missing. And it wasn't changed when they remodeled. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. Back on my parents' property, there was a wooden single-story house. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. Some of his fondest childhood memories were at that house. That sounds lovely. I'll have it produced for you. You will? But all I have left are old photographs. That's fine. I can restore them for you. Thank you, Mira-san. I'm looking forward to it.
I got this. up about those creepy looking dimos they're excavation models drill flies looks like those things are already flying you're telling me they go underground too not great for my mech i can punch like a truck but i can't reach the guys in the air the emp's what you want there they'll come crashing down to punching range <laughs> pain in the ass though Losing the Type 98 tank was a big factor in the design. The first-gen Sentinels went in hard on close-quarters combat. They ended up with a focus on raw power over mobility. They didn't know they'd have to deal with these flyers. Hey, hold on a sec, Amiguchi. How do you know all this crap? Well, uh, funny story. Guess you could say it just came to me in a dream. What the hell are you talking about? Come 
I ought to be used to fights by now. Hope I can pull my weight.
like any other boss. Hope I can pull my weight. Number two. operating limit of your sentinel you'll feel better once you're out piloting the sentinel is an intensely demanding process using it puts massive pressure on your brain you can't remain deployed for extended periods or you start getting backlash don't overdo it i'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nano machines i suggest you get out of the sentinel right now unless you want to forget your entire life not exactly a user-friendly robot. Let's get out of these, Fuyusaka. Yeah. Keep it going. We're all surviving. 